What's up, nerds? I'm Deep's Platinum. This is Eve Online, and this is a pay-to-play MMO set in space. And I'm gonna do um, some character creation. I'm not sure if I'm gonna play it or not. I have a friend that plays, so I'm definitely gonna look into it. Um, for starters, you have to pick your race. There are four different races: Kaldari, Minmatar, uh, Amar, I think, and then Galenti. I think I'm saying this right. And uh, we're going to learn a little bit about each of those before we make our final decision. The Amar Empire is the largest and oldest of the four empires. Ruled by a mighty empress, Amar is a theocratic society capable of selfless acts and unspeakable evil, all in the name of their god. That doesn't sound like uh, a race that I would want to be part of. The only true democracy of New Eden, the Galente Federation is a powerful and prosperous multicultural dominion that welcomes outsiders with open arms. Intolerant of closed societies, the Galente are fierce defenders of personal and social liberties. I like the sound of that. Once a thriving tribal civilization, the Minmatar were enslaved by the Amar Empire for hundreds of years. Most were freed after a great rebellion, but only at a tremendous cost. Today, the Minmatar Republic is a strong, resurgent nation, determined to win back the glory of its past. And lastly, the Kaldari. The Kaldari state is a union of powerful mega corporations governed by a strict meritocracy. The state is a fiercely competitive and ruthless society whose hyper capitalistic ways have brought its people both misery and triumph. Interesting. So. The Amar, the Mimitar, and the Kaldari all kind of have a negative theme mixed in with kind of some good. It really just depends on what you're looking for. Um, the Galenti is really the race that connected with me the most and what I would be looking for in this game, which I really don't know much about it. So, But I'm going to choose the Galenti. Um, it says they're champions of liberty and defenders of the downtrodden. Sounds cool to me. Okay, so you can choose your bloodline. There's Galenti, Intaki, and Jin Mei. So let's read a little bit about these. Um, Galentians value freedom and individual liberty above all else. Founders of the only true democracy of New Eden. They have created an ethically diverse, culturally, culturally rich, progressive society that encourages enterprise and initiative in its citizens. While slow to anger and occasionally indecisive, they're also capable of harnessing enormous military and economic resolve when truly tested. Intaki are one of the largest ethnicities of the Federation. Exceedingly gifted communicators, they are prominent among the federal bu bureaucracy. Though most assimilate into Galenti culture, they still cling to their own identities and beliefs. Most notably, their unusual theories regarding death and rebirth. These theories give them a unique outlook on life and the living, and many attributes the uh, many attribute the Intaki's stoic nature to this philosophy. Sorry if I'm reading kind of poorly. I just got off work and I'm tired. Jin Mei, I think that's how you say it. It's a dragon. The nation of Jin Mei is the latest addition to the Federation. They took to the stars comparatively late, as it took generations for them to transform their rigorous caste system enough for qualified people not to be excluded through class-based discrimination. Despite being at odds with the libertarian culture of the Galenti, the caste system has not been completely eliminated, nor is it likely to be further discouraged by the federal government due to its cultural implications. Um, none of these really stood out to me, honestly. These... Uh, I guess Galenti would... I mean, I'll be pure Galenti. Um, in most games, I like to take kind of a roguish... Not completely underhanded but not completely straight and narrow, uh, chaotic good, if you will. And uh, again, I didn't feel that any of these really grabbed that, but again, that's the choice I made. So Galenti 
and Galenti. And I'm going to be a male. And we'll move forward. Okay, customization. Awesome. Wow. Okay, so this looks like it's going to be pretty detailed. Wow, really detailed. That's awesome. Okay, well, let's get into it. Um, I'm not... Well, actually, I guess I could try and make it look like me a little bit. Do I have a picture of myself around here? I don't think I do. A little bit of a fatter nose. Not too fat. Mm. All right. Wow, this is pretty cool, actually. Uh, the graphics on this are really good. Let's see what we can do here. Man, there's a lot of customization to this face. I like it. That's very cool. Okay, so... I've already messed with the eyes a little bit. Uh, let's see what we can do up here. Muscularity. Okay, I'll increase that a bit. Maybe add a little bit of weight. Um, aging. Let's leave it there. No freckles. A little bit of scarring. That's fine. And complexion. That's probably pretty good. All right, eyes. Is this just eye color, I believe? Oh, no, it's not. Is it? Oh, actually, I choose the color over here. So this is kind of the setting for the eye. Interesting. Oh, it's the way. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, what else can we do here? Ears. And all right, let's move on to hair. Whoa. Um, okay, let's go with a darker color. There's a little bit of red in there, actually. I kind of like that, but we'll change that up a bit. Okay. All right. Not that hairstyle. And again, I'm going to try and make this look uh, similar to me. It won't be perfect, I'm sure, but I'm sure if we took enough time, we could figure that out. But I just want to get through here and see what this game is all about. Um, there is a referral thing where you can do a free trial. I have a three-week trial. Um, from a friend of mine. If you guys want to play, let me know. Leave a comment. I can send you a referral. You'll probably need to send me your email address. Um, and we can play together for at least three weeks. Let's see. That hair is kind of cool. Facial hair color. Oh, I see. Okay. I get a medium there. Right now, my hair is a little bit longer. Um, oh, that's classy. Dude. I love it. There's really a lot of different stuff you can do here. I think I like this. I'm going to go with that one. Um, and then my eyebrows I can adjust. I'm going to have thicker eyebrows. Straight's fine though. Ooh, and then facial hair. That's good. In real life, I don't have much facial hair at all. That looks cool. Uh, let's see. I like that one. It's similar to that, actually. Cool. Cool. And I'm still still playing with these adjustments. I think that's a pretty good looking face. What do you guys think? All right, skin detail. What is this here? Oh, underneath the eye. Okay. And this is a good color for it. Lash thickness. Interesting. Cheek color. Not noticing a lot of change there. Huh. All right, that looks fine. Lip tone. There's a darker, and I think a little bit lighter. That's good. But man, this is really detailed, I will tell you. Um, I could spend a lot of time messing with this guy. But for now, we're just going to get through this. OK, let's zoom out. Nice body. Oh, actually. Can adjust that too which what all can we do here thin that up a bit that's cool that's actually really sweet there's a lot you can do but again I think it's mainly we're gonna be in our ship so I don't think it matters all that much um, so let's find a cool jacket 
style does matter. I could spend a lot of time. That's actually really tight. Good toned arms. <laughs> Mid layer, what is this? Um, I'm actually not feeling that at all. Let's take, take that off. Let's find a cool shirt to go into that vest. Maybe something sleeveless would be nice. I don't know if they have anything. That's cool. I'll work with that. And then some pants. No good space soldier is complete without his pants. Um, makes me think of Han Solo's pants. Were they like blue with like a white stripe from Star Wars? I think so. Kind of looks like they're armored, but I don't. It's just the design of them. Okay. Um, let's just go with. What do you guys think? A greenish color? Should I just go with solid black? I'll just go with those. That's cool. And then boots, those are clean. And let's see what these look like. Oh, okay, so I can either have them tucked in or not. Okay, I'm gonna go with the black ones. Um, and I don't want glasses, body modifications. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that alone. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Um, let's zoom in on his face again. Pretty cool looking dude. Good work there, Jeebus. All right, um, and then I guess I can still adjust, but I think he looks pretty cool. So I can, I'm taking a picture now, I guess. Uh, let's see, cool background. This is actually a really neat um, character creation. I haven't played a lot of games that have very detailed character creation, um, but this is fun. I'm, I'm enjoying this. If you guys know of other games that have some really detailed aspects to it, I'd love to at least make a character. If I don't even play the game, that would be fun. That's cool. I think that idealizes the guy that I want to be, the man that I want to be. Let's say your pose. This is awesome. Uh, let's see. Tilted. Tilted. No. Kind of straight, but not completely. This is good. Straight as in the alignment, not <clears throat> sexual preference. And then I can pick the shadow, the intensity of the shadow or the light. Oh, okay, not gonna have color on him, that's cool. Huh, that's really neat. This is so cool, I'm really enjoying this. I haven't even gotten to the game yet. That shadow like, makes him look a little bit larger. Uh, let's see. You guys are probably like, come on, Jeebus, shadows don't matter, and you're right. But then again, I think that we're gonna end up using this picture that makes sense for our profile. All right. I think that's pretty good right there. Let's snap a shot. Nice. He looks pretty awesome. Okay, let's move forward. Uh, there I am. Okay, so I get to choose my ancestry and education. So there's quite a lot of options here. Um, based on math, it really makes it to where most characters can be pretty different. I can be an activist, a minor, or an immigrant. Galenti citizens tend to be more politically aware than the citizens of other nations and many devote their efforts towards one or more of a multitude of causes that suit their ambitions. Hmm. Um, and let's see what Immigrant says. No other nation is as welcoming. You know what? I like uh, Galenti. I watched that first video and I really liked it, but now that I'm reading this, it seems more posh and refined than what I was hoping for. But I'm going to stick with it, um, and I'm, I'm sure that when I get in-game, I can suit my behavior to uh, the guy that I want to be. But I'm going to go with um, I think mining would give me kind of a hard edge that I'm looking for. Um, <laughs> that sounds funny. Okay, and then my education. University of Kai Kale, maybe? Um, originally, okay, the largest school in the universe. Wow, half a million students. That's pretty impressive. It's a melting pot. It uh, doesn't really say anything about the education they offer. And I'll go with the Federal Navy Academy. That sounds pretty good. Give myself a military background name is going to be Jeebus, of course, and then my family name. Let's see if we can fit platinum in there. That is a manly family name. I apologize about the clicking and the mousing. Um, I'm going to have to figure out probably by, let's check availability, and it's not available. Probably because I borrowed the name from a friend and he probably played this game. Okay, Jeebus, what would be a good last name? Hmm. I'm in space. I look cool. Um, maybe two M's that's dumb I'm not sure I'm going to think on this 
and then as soon as I think of something cool, I'll cut the, the video back in. Okay, Jeebus Platinus. It's a little different. Um, whenever I play a game, it's very important to me to have a strong, strong name, and I think that is kind of mediocre, but we're going to go ahead and finalize it. Um, this has been the end, at least of this portion, of the character creation for Jeebus Platinus. Submit this picture as your portrait. That's fine. Looking good, buddy. Okay, so we've loaded in, and I'm actually going to cut it here. Uh, thanks for watching the character creation. I will be putting out another video probably tomorrow with, um, I guess, going through a tutorial or whatever they have for me here in my, I think I'm in a ship, not, not positive. But thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Jeebus Platinum or Jeebus Platinus, and I'll talk to you guys soon.